Over 1,000 bodies have been discovered in towns just like this around Kyiv. 14-year-old Yura Nechiparenko from Bucha feared he would become one of them. After his horrifying encounter with Russian forces, who were occupying the streets he grew up in. We were biking right up until here. The Russian soldier came from around the corner of the building behind. First, the muzzle of his gun was pointed to the ground. Then he elevated the muzzle, so it was pointed directly at us and told us to halt in Russian. Yura and his father were on the way to visit vulnerable neighbours sheltering in basements. But before they had time to explain themselves, the soldier shot Yura's dad dead. After that, he also shot at my raised hands. But the bullet got between my thumb and forefinger and scraped my thumb. Yura's grey hooded jumper saved his life, and now his mother insists he keeps it as evidence. Yura's story, while well, just one of many, comes as international justice experts arrive in Bucha to investigate possible war crimes committed by Russian forces on their retreat from Ukraine's capital. In Bucha alone, local authorities report 31 children have been killed. The UN Human Rights Office say that over 200 children have been killed across Ukraine since the start of the invasion. Following Russia's retreat, Yura's family transferred his father's body from a makeshift grave to a local cemetery. This year, Yura turned 15 without his father, who would usually prepare a meal for his son's birthday. As investigations into atrocities like this continue, all Yura is wishing for is justice.